Mike Chick 95 with my cohort. Or Fring Joker, even though the camera's really weird angle. Craker Margin will be sharing his thoughts on this film in the ranking video that we'll be doing in the near future. I promised you his thoughts. Give us your thoughts on Predator 4. You can be a quick rundown. It was a fun movie. Four out of ten. <laughs> Four out of ten. But it was fun. So, yes, The Predator. Or Predator 4. We have finally finished this series. I guess I can get the numbers here real quick. Since you them down, thankfully. Um, the budget of this film was $88 million. And they box office back about $160.5 million. This is because this is the first film since 2010. And this film came out in 2018. Which, really quick before I continue on with the print numbers, uh, here is uh, me and Krieger's first experience of this movie right here in the video. And no texting. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely thought it was kind of funny myself. Apparently Arnold declined to be in this movie. Sorry. Apparently there was an opportunity. Yeah. It was a cameo. This is the third movie that Arnold had uh, declined. Audiences gave this uh, film a 3.3 .3 out of 10. And critics also gave this film a 3.3 .3 out of 10. For so, oh, those are... That's a big decline from mm -hmm. Predators. That's definitely a big, a big decline on that. Um, I do have one trivia bit to um, Olivia Munn, who plays the scientist in this film, the scientist lady. Uh, while during filming, um, she made a huge complaint to the director, Shane Black, who was in the first film, uh, that she did not want to record this one scene. I guess she was supposed to be jogging or something, just to kind of show that she does like morning workout or whatever. And there was a scene where she was kind of being harassed by somebody, by a dude or whatever. And the dude who was supposed to be playing the part of harassing her actually turned out to be a sexual um, predator or a guy who's had, like, been to jail for sexual stuff. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, that was something That's I wanted serious. to share really quick on that. Uh, trivia, another trivia, they had something from every previous movie. They did. In this movie. Mm -hmm. Both the Busey uh, father and son were both in this series. Gary Busey was in Predator 2, mm -hmm. and his son Jake Busey was in this film as well. I would also like to put in as well is this film uh, went through reshoot hell because it was about ready, and then they had to push the release date back six to eight months because they had to do reshoots. And I will get into that when I share my thoughts because, oh my god. Uh, well, do you want to go first before I tear this movie apart? <laughs> I have family that loves and has seen all the Predator series, but this was the first Predator movie I've ever seen. The second one was the one I watched just before this one. Uh, which this was, was the very first one you saw. This was the very first one I saw. Very first Predator I saw, and uh, I still knew it wasn't great. Uh, I absolutely appreciated all the goof toofery from all of the crazies. If your mom's vagina were a video game, it'd be rated E for everyone. <laughs> because it's dry, awkward humor, and I appreciate it. But the rest of it made very little sense. It was confusing, it threw around a whole bunch. The boy is extremely nervous, but he's also like, Hi, my dad kills people, so I'm gonna act like a badass, and which makes no sense. The excuse for the fact that like he has a mental disability, but he's also able to figure out the predator technology because yes. he's super smart because of that. I feel like Th that's, that was the stupid. It that was is very a stupid. lazy excuse for a plot point in the movie. I yes, feel like. and, and I'm so not talking you said you were gonna wait. I, yeah, you gotta sorry. wait, wait. Um, <laughs> so one, the final predator thing being a robot suit was just kind of dumb. Especially since it came out of a slime, which was confusing. Um, they hired a kid to be a super high-tech tech genius, even though he literally has had no exposure to tech outside of the slight video games that his mom lets him play that his dad doesn't want him to play. Which made no sense, unless somehow the computer scrambled his brain. I don't know. Highlights from this movie, the first time I watched it, the second time I watched it, the same thing. I liked, it's pretty cheesy, but I liked... Everybody's all tied up in a different room and they all beat the shit out of the people. But it's also like the level of chance in this movie for all these things to come together 
isn't very planned, unlike the other Predator movies where it's it's skill and poise and, and thinking and coming together to make a plan kind of a thing. Even the last movie had aspects of this. They just happen to be able to know where the kid is because they just happen to not shoot the dog. They just happen to be able to track the boy. That it just happened to... And they just the girl just happened to have the dog come back and the dog is the dumbest thing. The dog without the if that alien dog was shot, it wouldn't make any sense. And so having the alien dog be very helpful through half the movie is shitty. It lobotomized the fucking thing. But then it was it was the best person on their team. And it's the only one that didn't die besides the guy and the girl and the kid. Also, something that bothered me the first time I watched this. And about me this time too. The guy with his legs that got cut off, they didn't search for his body. They were religious dude. Yeah, they were just like, oh, he's dead. I'm like, no, he just got his legs cut off. If you've seen the Saw series, you know what I'm talking about. If you watch the whole thing, you can survive with your legs cut off at the knees. Yeah, but from that sheer high of a drop, because they were pretty high in the air. They if, didn't even look for him. They were just like, he's dead. I mean, at <laughs> that point, like, they, you just gotta. I guess assume because just stupid shit but like that was just that was something I know I know that was just something that bothered me he's probably dead but they didn't look for him it didn't mean that he was dead if he survived his legs getting cut off he probably died from the from the fucking fall (laughs) yes I was like uh, Lieutenant Dan he didn't have no legs just whatever people don't have the same humor as me but on a humor scale the goof too free reminds me of uh, Losers and I love that. The problem is, this is a Predator film. And so that completely takes away from the story. So I really like that aspect. And that's why I was excited to watch this again. And my number for watching, wanting to watch something again is a 9. But as a Predator film, I cannot give it that. I'm going to give it a 4. They did a good job of showing new weapons uh, before the end. Um, a new predator, some big dog creatures. That aspect was really cool. Some cameos of, of the, or not cameos, but placement of the old technology. Um, ch- sharing a story. Kind of good. Otherwise, everything takes away from the story, including the comedy. It's just too much. It's more about these goofy guys that die and less about what the predator does. And they just totally throw this entire movie at the very end. One of the reasons to get solo. At the very end, it was just like, hey, boy, I tell you what, it sent us a package that just happened to not get blown up. Like, the ending didn't make any sense to the rest of the movie. If they were having product placement from Predator Tech from the crossover films, but they're not canon to either of the franchises, how does that make any sense? Because... Alien is canon to Alien movies, including yes. prequels. Predator's canon to all these films. But the crossovers have been said they're not canon to either franchises. But they the still franchises. have items from, from it. It's just... Fan service? Yeah. Oh, the humor from the, the FBI agents. Their, their behavior. He wasn't even badass. He was just like, fuck you, kid. And he's like, fuck you back, dude. <laughs> it wasn't funny. It was just awkward. No, but he wasn't stupid. He wasn't like stupid FBI agent, kind of like secret black ops guy, where you, you you just thought he was stupid, which is the normal. Or he wasn't like the super guys like in Men in Black, where like we know what we're doing. He was just like, "Hi, uh, I'm an adolescent teenager stuck in a man's body, and I like to make jokes that don't make no sense." And, from all that fucking Nicorette gum he chewed up, the yeah, movie. He, he, he killed his brain. He wasn't douchey enough. He was just like he was an idiot. <laughs> he was like an awkward guy stuck in a cool dude's body. It just, it was just, it's like, shoot him. And he's like, oh, I'm glad we didn't shoot you. And then he, he, he died in the best way. Turns, blows his own head up. Also stupid. My biggest problem with this film is the reshoots. And that's, like, you know how I am when it comes to movies. I can tell when a movie is, like, fluid and it's like, oh, it's telling a really great story. That this is... It was you know, choppy. No, this was worse than... This This was probably the worst... What did they reshoot? reshoot? Edited job. They had a shit ton of stuff. A shit ton Why? Of I was sitting here trying not to get a fucking headache watching this movie. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, we're here, we're there, we're here, we're here, plot convenient. How is this connected to this one? 
so what? We're playing ju- jumping jacks now. And then by the time we got to the, like the last ten minutes, my head was just like. <laughs> also, they showed the wife with the phone for like two seconds, and then yeah, she she wasn't even in the fucking end of the movie. What happened to her character? She just fucking just. Uh, I, I, they must have I, shot her. They just didn't want to show it on camera. Yeah, the last time you saw her, she was hiding from the the bad guys. Uh, no, she was hiding from uh, Papa Predator. Oh yeah, Papa much. Predator. Oh, that's right. Because he was like, I'm going to do some hacking. Yeah, and we don't I'm know if he, he killed hack. her. And we don't see, you know, she's safe. And she didn't get to hug her boy. It's... Well, she didn't have a weapon, so who the fuck knows. Second problem I have with this film, um, the fucking Uber Predator looked like shit in majority of this movie. And yeah. there was a lot of scenes where he, like, turned and was like, <laughs> or... It was obviously the same shot used over and over again. That was the only time he actually looked good. The part where he's eating the guy's face upside down in the tree was like the worst thing I've seen ever in a CGI job. And his dying scene was also horrible too. And like the fact that like it was they, so bad. They hyped up this original player to be like the big baddie, and they're like, oh wait, maybe he's trying to help us. Nope, he he he, he dead. He dead halfway through the movie. When you when you think, oh, the film's almost over, the original player's dead. No, you got another fucking hour to go, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nicorette Gum Dude. Um, so <sighs> his death scene. I'll be honest, and this is said throughout like a lot of people who saw this movie they didn't even know he died until like it got pointed out to them later and they were like wait that's how he died I didn't even see it, it because you couldn't so see anything in the, in the fucking forest scene it yep. was this was going back to AVP all I laughed segment. the first time I saw it because I was like that stupid idiot I almost missed it the first time I saw it because I was like wait well, what happened oh that dude died but that was like AVPR filming territory there oh mm-hmm. my god the humor okay the humor so it was good it was good, but I feel like... It, it was, was bad good. It, I, it was good. It was good because it was bad. <laughs> but it was too much. Yes. <laughs> Way too much. And the problem is, that's how Shane Black directs his movies. He likes to make them uber funny. Not good for a And he, he, if you want an uber funny movie, do not put Keegan-Michael Key in the goddamn movie because he will not stop. And I, 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 I love Keegan-Michael Key mm-hmm. as a comedian. Him and Key and Peele shit and whatnot... But that's Keegan a problem. Michael Key was a big distraction in this movie, I feel like, <laughs> when it came to him joking around. Yep, yep. Uh, and, the, and, like, they try to have you develop, like, this emotional connection with this loony bin of soldiers, but, like, for me, like, I mean, yeah, the one guy tried to commit suicide by shooting himself in the head, but I didn't really feel that much connection with all the people and the main character is extremely hard to relate to he's and kind of a douchebag he was this was not a good cast the only like the only high profile character person that i knew in this movie besides keegan was olivia munn but mm-hmm. her character was fucking annoying too well, I, i've and seen James a lot of the people Cena. in other movies uh, this movie I had a, I have a lot of problems with this movie. I could go on and on and on and bitch about the same things and new things about it, but I am honestly done talking about this film. Can we just film. refer to this movie as Suburban Predator? Suburban Predator. I also have a question. If, in the movie, when they pull up to the ship that's parked, why is the ship not cloaked? If they haven't even plugged nothing onto it to, 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 to like look at it? You mean it's just parked in the middle of this quarry with the door open? The crack, the, not the crack, the rogue crashed one yeah this probably because it crashed and the cloaking device was broken or something i don't know but it crashed perfectly good in the rock quarry i guess i just don't like how this film i I hate the film's pacing that's i just fucking hate the pacing of this movie and you feel like you're sitting there for three hours watching a movie that you barely get anything yeah after you get home it's like aha wait a second the gore was good the, the gore was very good. Slimy good and some grossness kills, and things. Some of the kills and, were actually really good too. Like yeah. the one where Uber Predator like took his fucking goddamn twelve foot long knife dildo thing and, and right up the, the guy's guy crotch. The crotch. Or when he like, takes the other predator and literally punches him to death with one punch. That's sad when that's the only good thing about the movie is the gore and the kills because even you remember me saying when we're sitting here watching it, and I'm like, oh, look, it's the big thing that's going to kill this entire yeah. movie. The underground... But literally, and yeah. the big thing ruined the movie for me. The underground lab was pretty cool. Everything else, that, that wasn't that cool. I, I just feel like we, we didn't need a, a Papa Predator at all. Mm-hmm. Uber Predator. I, I feel like he ruined the whole movie. 
like it was cool that it expanded more on the races and the hybrid theory and whatnot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but I can't set anything higher or lower than this film than a three out of ten because I give them props for trying something new again, and I give them props for the gore and the kills to a point because some there were some kills that were bad. But everything else is garbage. Oh my god. Um, do you have anything else to add because I'm done? This, this movie. No, I, have to, I just kept adding things when you were talking about This movie I got has done. Uh, I feel bad for all the Predator fans because I liked this movie the first time I watched it. Yeah. Because it was funny. When you said this is the first Predator film I ever saw, when you sat down, I was just like, oh, no. Yeah, but what was the first Jason movie I saw? Part 7. Oh, my hands off camera. This was borderline retribution levels for me, but I never want to watch this film again. I never. I've only seen this twice, and I've already, I already wanted to like. Yeah. If you remove the aliens. And added something else, like in post-editing, it'd be a great movie. We should end it by talking about the last scene. What do you think should have been in that pod? Not the fucking Predator Iron Man. Yes. I feel like it they... looked shitty. What did, What did you think should have been in that pod at the end? Because I say that plot point should have been like removed completely, so we didn't need it at all. <laughs> when I first saw it. When, it, when I first watched the movie, I thought it was going to be a predator that looked human-like. Because it was setting up all this hybrid stuff. So I thought it was going to be a, like a super advanced predator on the human side. That's why I saw the slime. As this thing popped out, I was like, okay, it's going to be armor for this creature. And then it did that. And I was just like, that's kind of weird. If the first really... time I watched it, I was like, that's kind of weird. Why was it in a slimy ooze bucket? That's the thing. It's like, oh, it has a special pod. The thing was going to blow up. It's like... What the fuck? So you remember in Predators where um, a- a- the Merc, Adrian Brody's character, the, the last dude, yeah. uh, had like survived and everything. Um, so he was on the Predator planet. So what if like man, I'm pulling strings out of my ass on this one? No pun intended. Um, he like was a- he was like able to like somehow converge with the smaller Predators um, that, from that movie to kind of form like a rebellion. And whatnot, and then as they're trying to find a way to help the humans back on Earth, because they figure out that oh, they're gonna take over the planet because the yeah, because the shows are getting hot, is getting hot and whatnot, and so they send back Adrian Brody as the Predator Killer because going off comics here, in the comics his character actually starts developing an alliance of like humans and I think Predators and whatnot. He starts actually using like Predator armor and everything. Thing to kind of blend in so oh, so that last that line have, that's my new suit I hope they have it in a 42 long anyways uh, this is my check 95 an orphan joke <laughs> oh it's time for bed time for bed and we're only gonna talk about this film one more time in the ranking another time oh. <laughs>